Hi Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading for December 4th through the 10th. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind, how you feel about them, how they feel about you, the connection between the two of you. I will be clarifying each card so energies can change as I clarify. This is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read. Now at the end of your reading, I will be pulling an oracle message from the Sacred Traveler Oracle deck to give us some more insight, guidance, and clarification on your situation. So with that being said, and we're going to go ahead and jump right in. How does Pisces feel about the person on their mind? Wow. There's some heartbreak here. It looks like there was definitely an argument um, or drama between the two of you. And you don't know what they're doing now at this point. Um, feels like they were keeping secrets, maybe even about another relationship or things not being right. It feels definitely like a relationship. Um, there was shock. Everything that you two had together was, um, you know, I don't want to say it was completely destroyed because this Knight of Pentacles is telling me that, you know, you're still moving forward even after this situation here, but there's pain. Um, Five of Wands, the Moon, and the Hierophant. Also, your intuition is really speaking loudly to you, you know, to follow your heart, what you believe in, um, stick to your plan, and maybe even restructurize. It feels like this is a spiritual lesson learned in this connection with this person and it was very shocking um, very enlightening as well that knight of pentacles though feels very good like i'm just gonna keep you know pursuing what i said i was gonna do even though this does hurt it's like pushing through the pain um so let's go ahead and clarify or not clarify let's go ahead and look at how this person feels about you All right, so they still feel you in their energy, wanting to contact you and um, talk to you, looks like for some time, but they are not pursuing you. They're not a chaser at all. And so, you know, they're, it looks like maybe they're just kind of enjoying their life as it is. And you know what, if Pisces shows up, great. If not, great, whatever. So we have the sun, the two of wands, the wheel of fortune, and then the queen of wands came out additionally, as well as the two of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. They keep going back and forth. Like, should I talk to Pisces? Should I not? Um, it comes off as a Pisces is hot and you know, they're so attractive. I was attracted to this, that, and the other. They're also feeling very powerful moving forward. We're going to look at what that is. Um, I don't want to say it's smug. It's almost like smirkiness or yeah, being like, hmm. let's go ahead and get the connection between the two of you. Interesting. Wait, it comes out. Yeah. In the connection, when it comes to communication, it is not happening because there are things happening in the background. Um, so right now, the time is not right. Should I reach out to them? No. Um, that's what it's saying in the connection. And I'm not saying, no, don't reach out to them. You do what you want to do because you're going to do what you want to do regardless. But the Page of Wands, the Creator, and the Empress, there's definitely this desire to want to talk to each other. And should I do it? Curious about each other. But feeling with this Creator card that no things are delayed for a reason. The Empress is saying that, you know, um, there's... It's almost like things are, are flowing, moving forward. Why go backwards? So we have the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Somebody definitely is maybe carrying, you know, the past to the present. But somebody else is moving on. 
you're progressing, it looks like, in a, a really good way here. Let's go ahead and start clarifying because i got to see what's going on. Um, let's start with this Five of Wands here. There was too much competition between the two of you and too much drama. So you decided, like you made a choice to walk away because this didn't feel like love anymore or that love existed there anymore. And you're heading in the direction of love. You're like, I want more here. Um, if this is something to do with finances, you you know like a job or something like that you're looking and searching for something more and wanting to put like your creative um inspiration towards something that brings you more financial wealth because some of you have been really struggling and you're like whatever this is if you're competing for a job and or you've been at a job and you've been competing to make more money and it just hasn't been providing that it has been a struggle and you're like i just you're deciding to walk away and um it's something that makes you feel good because this knight of cups is your whole heart is in this and you're heading in the direction of something you love even though you're accepting this loss you know um and it feels like you're in a losing battle in this situation you're constantly um, maybe fighting for this person's attention, the drama that arises, it feels like you're just alone, they're not hearing you, or... I'm sorry, Pisces. Let's go ahead and clarify this moon. Ooh. You felt like this person is hiding some secrets and you really want the truth of if they love you and if they want to work this out. Like I said, in the connection at this point, there are some blocks there because that creator card, which is a definite no card, um, it doesn't mean no forever. It just means right now there's some things happening that you aren't aware of, that they're not aware of um, in your life and their life. And so it, things would clash at this point. It doesn't mean that it can't happen. It just means that there's a little bit of a delay towards that abundance of, you know, where things could go between the two of you. Um, but I know that you do want the truth here. Also, your intuition speaking loudly, like your higher self telling you that to do the right thing, you have to follow your heart and stay focused on what you want. Make a plan. The hermit right here is saying that you are very, very wise. Spend some time alone. Um reconnecting with yourself making a plan of what it is that you want and hold to your vision and always trust that what you cannot control god will take care of that just release that control it's going to be fine so let's go ahead and clarify the higher fan i'm not saying go ahead and quit your job and you have nothing to look forward to not like that i'm saying what you can't control just control what you can I mean, if this is a job situation, you wanting to make more money or whatever it is here, Pisces, then, you know, you go after what you can control, whatever you, which is out of your control, leave that to God. You know, there's no reason for you to stress over things that, you know, you can't change and it's okay. In this spiritual lesson, you are learning that it's time to move on from the past, but, um, you know, feeling a stagnation of doing so for some reason here. If this is a love situation, it's hard to move on from it. Um, we have the six of uh, swords, the four of cups, as well as the hierophant. And maybe even trying, if this is, whether this is a, a relationship or, a, you know, a, a romantic relationship, platonic or work, or whatever the case, because everyone has something different going on in their life, um, moving forward and leaving the past behind feels like there is some kind of, you know, stagnation moving forward and that a lesson is being brought up again. It's kind of like a repetitive one and one where you're having to look at the situation and restructure, you know, you know, listen to the words of a wise person in your life. Um, 
someone who's maybe told you, you can do this, you can do that. You are amazing. You have potential to, you know, do whatever it is that you're wanting to do, or you can have the relationships you want. And also one that aligns more with you and your belief system here, um, moving forward is going to bring you to this very strong foundation, structure, relationships, commitments, um, and those four walls that you're building, no one can make them fall unless you're wanting them to. And I don't see you doing that. So moving forward, um, it, it just feels like, oh, can I do it? I don't know. You can do it. And I believe in you. Other people believe in you, Pisces. Also, with how you, this might be your soulmate, it's difficult. You're like, no, I'm not finding what I'm looking for, you know, moving forward and dating other people. Or I don't want to date other people because I've learned in this situation that this is the person I want to be with and blah, blah, blah. Like I said, you're going to do what you want to do. And I had that feeling in your reading of, well, I'm going to still do this. She might say this, but I'm... I'm just reading the cards. So <laughs> I know some people are like, ah, don't tell me what to do. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I'm just reading energies. So the sun here with how this person feels about you. They want to learn more, but they're really in their head, like about even reconciliation they feel your energy like i said it's a very strong connection between the two of you wanting to reach out to you but feeling stuck when it comes to reconciling with you and so they're just being patient maybe pisces you were the one to always reach out to them and fix things or whatever and that's not happening at this point because you're deciding you need to move in a different direction um you have a lot of energy that you give in this relationship, situationship, um, partnership here. And like I said, they have this desire of, I wonder what they're doing and stuff in their head about wanting to reconcile. But even keeping themselves busy, they, um, if this is a like a, a work situation, it's almost like they want to make things right and celebrate. Even if something about like they got good news, moved up at work, whatever, and they want to share it with you but not saying anything. Let's go ahead and clarify this two of wands or wanting, and if it's about work, you know, wanting to reconcile and bring you back, maybe give you more money. Uh, but would you be happy, Pisces, being in that situation or... It's completely up to you. You just got to ask yourself the questions of would I be happy in that situation? So with this two of wands, oh my gosh, I'm getting hungry. If y'all hear my stomach growling, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm all rude. Stomach, stop. It's probably because I barely ate anything for breakfast today. I just went grocery shopping after this and I, you know, sorry, I got your readings out a day after they were supposed to be out just because... I had a dishwasher leak water everywhere and I was like, what's going on? And I have hardwood floors that I had put in and yeah, anybody who has hardwood floors, you know that if water gets on it, you're like, oh my gosh, I just didn't want tile in my kitchen. I'm like, no. So what I got is like that, it's like compressed snap hardwood flooring so it can get wet. It just can't be wet for more than 24 hours. I had to go and get a shop vac. Um, out of my garage and just take care of business yesterday. So I appreciate y'all being patient. I really do. <laughs> and yeah, I would rather get your readings done than go and eat right now, right? Yes. Anyways, I might be making some of y'all hungry, but yeah, what am I making for lunch? Um, I don't know, whatever I bought, but I will be making ratatouille later, which is so free and good. I might even share the recipe. Actually, I'm gonna share the recipe with y'all. Um, I'll give it to y'all. I'm gonna share it with you. Anyways, so two of wands, they want to communicate, deciding like you are my soulmate Pisces. I want this partnership, but feeling this heartbreak. And so they're just waiting. They're having to learn patience here. And the more that they have to wait, the more they're feeling heartbroken, the more they're missing you, having dreams about you. Um, 
wondering, you know, if you're thinking about them. So the four of wands, three of swords, and that temperance card right there. See, I, they just keep waiting for you to say something or do something here. All right, let's go ahead and clarify this wheel of fortune. All right, so the Wheel of Fortune is clarified by the Magician, the Nine of Pentacles, and then the Five of Swords, the Seven of um, Cups at the bottom of the deck. If this is a love situation, they are um, feeling pretty fat, powerful, being single or whatever, um, but not really finding what they're looking for as far as options that are out there. You were the best thing that ever happened to them, and now they're like, what the heck? Um, they're very, you know, conflicted. And I also get this person can come off a little bit like I'm in control of this and no one can, you know, change my destiny, which is just fine. But things do happen. Um, and if it's not a romantic situation where they're, you know, having this blessing of, you know, they've been manifesting. Yeah, that's what it is too. Like manifesting you coming back to them. It's not happening. And now they're like, what do I do? Looking at, do, should I go look at other options and choices here? Whether that's romantic or a partnership or platonic relationship, you decide because everybody's dealing with something different. Um, so let's go ahead and... Get the outcome between the two of you it even feels like this person trying to master certain things to make like their financial wealth and stability better but then there's conflict here it's almost like negativity comes into it or mean like it's never gonna happen because you know something about they just can't stick to one thing is that your fault it's not your fault it's not your fault okay so we have the strength card, the uh, king of pentacles, and the four of swords that comes out as well as <laughs> the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. I see this high priestess, and which it is your energy, as you, um, you have a secret knowing that this person really wants to talk to you, but you're not going to reach out to them. You're not going to say anything. Um, they have to do something. There is like, I'm going to take control of this situation. I'm going to go and talk to Pisces, and I know exactly what I want, and I miss them, but then there's this break in communication because they stop themselves all over again, and rather just missing you and feeling your energy. Um, whoops all around them because you know they have this very powerful connection to you it's not easily dismissed and they keep stopping themselves right when they get going and it just it feels very repetitive in the way that they feel for you because it's a start stop start stop start stop all right let's go ahead and get some oracle messages for you also, I also see, you know, your patience when it comes to a better life, financial security, stability, feeling at ease, feeling really good um, about your choices you're making moving forward and just being in a restful state. Um, like this feels good to me. Wonderful. Oh, I love this. Okay. One more message for Pisces, please. Okay. So we have the first one that comes out is going to be joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. You are deserving of it. You should enjoy it. <laughs> enjoy joy um, and delight. You know, in the innocence of a child is what this looks like right here. So um, joy and delight, like a time whenever, you know, we were all children and things just felt like innocent and we didn't know the difference of right or wrong. I'm not going to say like go out and do something right or wrong. That's not what I'm saying. But you know how children just are like, I really like you. You're very pretty. You're this, that, and the other, you know, enjoy life um, in that way without that restriction of should I do this or should I not do this? Should I say this or should I not say this? If you feel something strongly, go for it. Trust yourself. So rejuvenating rain, clear the past, heal the present. It feels really good. It's time to cleanse. So that way you can put that past behind you. This person can let go, cut ties from you, and then move forward. And embracing enthusiasm, shout to the heavens with happiness. So, you know, I'm happy. Affirmations every day, Pisces, are going to help. I like this flower. Um, 
what do you call it? A veil, I guess, that she has on. And it's just like, there's growth. There's a lot of happiness and flowers bloom. So something is blooming as you speak or shout to the heavens with happiness. Like I love myself and affirmations every day. Um, you know, you're transforming and changing things because those butterflies, um, represent transformation and growth as well. And wise leader, look at you. So you are a beacon for others. Look how strong and confident you are. I love this. It's like you are getting back to you. You are healing some things from the past and stepping into the present and embracing this change transform. I love it. I love it. I love it. So this is what I have for you, Pisces. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Everyone have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.